In this Excel video, I will teach you how to easily create drop down lists in Microsoft Excel. This is going to be fun. Let's get started. So here I am in a spreadsheet with some fictional employees listed. And as you can see, I'm having some trouble correctly typing the departments that these employees are part of. Looks like I've misspelled a word or two. In some cases, I'm putting punctuation in the department titles. In others, I'm not. I would really like some standardization in this spreadsheet getting rid of misspelled words and differences of how I enter things. Now this can be even more important when more than one person used the same spreadsheet. So how could I fix this? What I could do is click on a cell and then go to the data tab and look in the data tools group. You want to look for this symbol here or the words data validation. And you can just click there and you get a pop-up that you can use to create a drop-down list. Just switch from any value to list. And here where it says source, just type in each of the possible options that you want to be in your drop-down list. So HR, comma, IT, etc. So there I've got all of the options I want included in the drop-down. They're each separated by a comma, and then I click OK. Now look what happens. Cell C2 now has a button with a down arrow in it. And if you click on that, it opens up with all of the possible options. So I can quickly switch to marketing or finance, and the change is applied. Now I need to make the same change in C3. There's no button there. And same with C4, etc. Actually, you don't have to. Look what I can do. Just click on C2, go to the fill handle, the little green square in the lower right corner of the cell, and then drag and hold the mouse button as you drag, and then release the button at the bottom. And now, if I go to any of these cells, I can click and see the drop down button. Now, notice that when I clicked and dragged using the fill handle, that it did change the information that was in those cells. And so that's why, ideally, you would create your drop down list before entering any other information in a particular column. Now, I also want to point out that the order in which the option appear in your drop-down list comes from the order in which you entered them when you created the drop-down list. So if I click on a particular cell and go back to data validation, I could adjust this. Maybe I want it to start with IT and then move on to HR and then finance. Click OK. Now when I click back, the order has changed. Now there are several other ways to create drop-down lists. So I hope you'll watch my other videos that I've created on Excel drop-down lists. But for now, I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member, but you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, I want to say thank you to my super techie channel supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. 